Hi, this is Keshav here. Welcome back. In previous video, we saw how do we handle error rows in ADF. All right. In this video, I'm going to use same source file, and we'll see how do we handle such error records in Databricks. All right. So, especially in PySpark, there are two options to handle. So, those are one mode. Other one is bad records path. All right. So, again, under mode, we got three possible values. One is permissive and drop malformed and also fail fast all right how permissive works is when you use permissive whatever the values those couldn't be parsed those values will be stored as nulls all right so what are the values those couldn't be uh, parsed you know those values will be stored as null values and the complete row will be stored into different uh, column that is you know corrupt record column so the complete row which has got those unpaused values so that whole record will be stored in separate column that whatever the column name that we're gonna provide so that will be the corrupt records column all right so um, that's how uh, permissive you know works and drop malformed so how it works is uh, the whole record which has got unpaused value those whole record will be dropped off that's how it works all right if you don't want to load the data if you don't want to even separate the data just only just drop off uh, you know just you can go for drop malformed option all right fail fast so this fail fast what it does is whenever such error records occurs so automatically that execution will be stopped the pipeline will be stopped okay that's how it works all right so in case if you don't want to drop or if you don't want to you know uh, load null values if you want to just redirect those complete rows and parsed values so we can go for bad records path so in the bad records path we can specify the separate path you know um, to load those error records into separate file and we can share that file with our business to you know get those records rectified and send it back to us all right so in case if you want to separate them so we can go for bad records path all right so that's how these two options work all right let's see how do we handle the error records by using these options practically all right okay so i already logged into databricks community edition so of course i already created one notebook as well that is error handling notebook and I got already cluster created that is KR demo cluster. So this notebook is already connected to cluster that is KR demo. Fine. Now let's uh, try to load the data. All right. So before going ahead and uh, load the data, let me check where is our source file is. Okay. I forgot to show you one thing. The file which I used in you know ADF, the same file I'm going to use here as well. The file is already, I mean that CSV file is already uploaded to Databricks. So let me show you the data in the file so that you will get some idea. All right, uh, this is the file which I'm gonna load here. So this file has got four columns ID, name, sales amount, and pay type, and with respect to rows as well. All right, so under ID, you could see that customer ID, name, customer name, sales amount, and pay type, whether it is card or cash payment. All right. So under ID we got um, you know these two are valid IDs that's okay and if you observe the uh, row number three so which has got alpha numeric value but we expect you know um, only numeric value under this field all right so but it has got alpha numeric value and under sales amount also there is uh, you know row number two which has got again alpha numeric value that is 3k all right so um, these two records are error records and we'll see how do we handle them all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the path where i uploaded that file so db utils fs dot ls let me list out you know all the files and folders inside that default file store all right this file store has got below folders and files all right so uh, under file store there is folder called tables let me just go into tables folder 
let us see under tables directory we got file called sales data dot csv this is the file that i am going to load here all right so let me take that file so let me copy this path and let me just try loading the data into one data frame i am going to create one data frame called df uh, let's say spark dot read csv i am going to say headers equal to true let me execute the query so there is data frame created let me display the records from the data frame all right data has been loaded without any issue all right so but data is loaded same as in the file but this is not our expectation is right so th this column should be uh, sh should be loaded with only integer values and this column again should be loaded with only integer values should not be loaded with alpha numeric value right only should be loaded with only numeric value but let me check what is the schema of this data frame let me do print schema okay if you observe the schema id is created as string name is created as string sales amount string pay tape also string so everything is created as string that that was the reason why there was no issue at all while loading this uh, in our records but that is not our expectation okay so our expectation is our id should be created with type integer name should be string that's fine sales amount should be with a type integer and pay type should be with string right that's how it should be so as it is not creating as we expected so let's go ahead and define the schema for our data frame first i am going to define a schema as like this my tr maybe you can say df schema this is the name of the variable that's up to you how you want to give the name okay so i am going to just say struct type so let me list out all the fields struct field first field is id right so type should be integer type and nullable just let me make it false that's okay let me copy this yeah i'm gonna create other column that is um, name should be string type so let me change this to string and sales amount it should be integer type that's and here pay type should be string all right i'm going to define i'm going to create one uh, new column just i will say corrupt records should be corrupt record you know this this is just to pull the corrupt record uh, from the uh, source file all right so let's see how it works okay fine so this construct type and construct field these are the classes all right in pyspark these are the classes i mean those are used to define the schema for our data frame all right so uh, first of all we need to import those classes so i'm gonna just create one cell here i'm gonna just say from pyspark dot sql dot types import so let me import all the classes import star i can just specify only struct type and struct field but let's not worry about that now let me execute this script all right uh, we define the schema and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just load data from the from our csv file into different data frame by using our defined schema so i'm gonna just say df2 equals to spark dot read i'm gonna pass all the options here option i'm gonna use mode called permissive p r e permissive all right so fine now i'm gonna use other option so here in case if you want to just you know rename this corrupt corrupt record field if you want to rename to different uh, column name 
of course you can use other option otherwise just ignore that i am directly going ahead and loading the data from csv csv and let me pause the path from where we are trying to load the data so this is the path you know our csv file where our csv file exists so let me copy that path i'm going to say header equals to true and i'm going to call our schema that we just defined that is my df schema so let me use that all right we are done now let me execute this script all right so there is a df2 created let me display the records from there oh yeah so i forgot to make it string it should be string type our corrupt our corrupt record field should be in stream because it has to copy complete row where we got the values those are not been parsed right it should be string type always and we have to make it nullable also okay it should be true as well all right so let me execute again and let me execute this cell value and df2 is created now let me display the records all right see here as i said permissive how it works is wherever we have unparsed values those uh, will be loaded as null and the whole record the whole record will be copied to the separate column that is corrupt record column all right so of course as i said right if you want to change this corrupt uh, corrupt record column name of course you can change by using other option so let's not worry about that fine now so this is how our permissive you know mode works now let's go for the other mode so that is drop mall formed all right so if you use drop mall formed let me just try creating with a different data frame uh, df3 so let me execute all done i'm going to just display the records from df3 display here so all the records you know uh, th those got unparsed values that okay, those all records are dropped off all right so in this case we don't need this corrupt record column at all because we are just completely dropping them off all right so uh, in case if you are going for other option other mode that is fail fast so let's see how it works i'm going to just create a different data frame fail let me execute all done now let me try displaying the records from df4 so as i said the execution will be failed let's see see it has failed because there are error records so um, fail fast what it does is if there are any error rows so it will just you know uh, stop the execution so that's how it works all right this is how this uh, three modes work or permissive mode fail fast and also drop mall formed all right now let's see how do we redirect the records by using bad records path okay i'm going to just copy this whole cell value let me paste it over here this time i'm going to create data frame as df5 so now i'm gonna here mode type should be bad records path here the mode should be bad records path it should be bad records path and let's specify the path i want to create the file with bad records under this location okay i executed and now let's see if we have the you know that file is created dbutils so dbutils.fs.ls and let me 
pass this path and we created Baddeker's directory and file here. Let us go for, let us go to tables. Let us see if we have any directory called bad records path. Seems no. I do not see anywhere the bad records path is greater. So, let me give different directory instead of going for default directory. Let me just give there is other folder KR demo which I created. Let me just pass this location for bad records path. All right. So, let me execute. How now let me check dbutils dot fs dot ls and let me pass this location and check if there are any files created under this location. All right, now it seems it is created. Okay, let's go. I think this is the one which is created. So let me go for this something is there inside that yeah so under bad records let me go inside that so, this is the file which is created and said that bad records folder let me pause this and let me read the data from that file okay text file fine let me execute all right see here there, there are two records are loaded uh, one is uh, row 2 and other one is row 3 all right of course yeah this is how uh, you know we can redirect the rows you know error records by using bad record path i just passed one user defined directory here that is care demo inside that i could able to create uh, the files for bad records all right so uh, this is how we can you know navigate that bad records path files and see the data so, these files you can share and have you know uh, data rectified all right that is how it works. So, if you observe this data th this is our bad record we expect this to be you know uh, separated out and also we expect this row also will be separated out into bad records path. Let us go to uh, data picks again all right see here this is second row which is been separated and also this is third row which is been separated. All right. So, now if I execute, if I display the records from df5, let us see how many records are there. All right. So, I am expecting only the valid records. All right. So, here there are only 3 rows are loaded, those are valid rows. And of course, as I said, right, we can ignore this column here. So, as I already defined in the schema, so I did not change it still that column is coming if you you know if you want to ignore that just modify your schema just take it off uh, that field just it is no more required it is required only for permissive mode for other modes it is not required all right. So, this is how we can handle error records if you want to just you know um, replace with null value and have the, the whole row sub, uh, loaded into separate column of course, you can go for permissive in case if you want to drop off the whole record which has got unparsed value. So, of course, you can go for uh, drop malformed and in case if you want to fail the execution, you can go for fast fail. Right. Finally, if you want to just you know separate out those error records and load into separate file, you can go for bad records path. All right. So, this is how you can handle error records in Databricks. I hope this is clear for you guys. So, thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe for more videos from my side on Databricks, ADF and also Power BI. Alright, we will meet again with a different concept. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.